This one's made in China or Taiwan. <laughs> China. China. It's fantastic. You have no idea. Alrighty guys, so I'm putting the engine together, not really filming much of that. I did post a picture when I had everything mocked up and a lot of people mentioned, I want a video about what you did. And it's not necessarily cam specs or stuff like that. It was just like, I think some of the younger crowd wanted to know, you know, basically what, how you put this on, what order, so on and so forth. So, and I'm referring to, of course, uh, right now anyway, your thermostat housing, your intake manifold, so on and so forth. Also this right here, I'm gonna, we learned something today with these. So this one's made in China or Taiwan, <laughs> China. Uh, and I'll show you the difference real quick here. China, it's fantastic, you have no idea. Where'd that little gasket go? There we go. So this is the old school type right here. And this is pretty tore up, which is why I got another one, it warped. But it is a flat surface with a slight groove on the inside for your thermostat, right? Two bolts and then, of course, porthole, right? Um, the old school way is to RTV this, just like I was talking about. Uh, lay the gasket over, which I've already used, just a flat gasket. And then you RTV the other side and install it right there. Well, that's the old school way, right? Well, old school is the right way, I think, because I posted a picture of this, which is the one from China. And uh, this is just like the one that I installed, and it uses, you know, this sort of, what is this called again? O-ring. <laughs> O-ring, thank you. <laughs> we use this O-ring instead of a gasket, and I was like, I posted, I said, on 4400 World, I was like, do I need to RTV this a little bit? Because, and five people in about one minute replied, ditch it. So... We'll see if it holds, but I couldn't get this in time. I needed to get this engine together. So what I did was I RTV the heck out where this O-ring goes and then lay the gasket on, let it sit. Basically took it from there and installed it over here. And I have yet to torque it to full specs because I'm wanting it to adhere on. So I'm gonna do it in stages. Um, just to throw it real quick, because I don't have much visual. You get the gaskets. You lay them on there, make sure that they line up all right. Uh, some of the gaskets say up, down, so on and so forth, but you just flop them on each side to make sure that each one fits the way it's supposed to. It'll make sense when you guys use it. And again, most of you guys know this. I have a little trick. I put these, which are basically just the same thread uh, that these bolts are. <laughs> My buddy's over here, he's just uh, laughing. And uh, same threads and so on and so forth. And I choose these four right here to put these in before I put the intake on. So I pull them on there. Now what these do is that they um, hold the gasket in place, right? Uh, either when you're trying to mock it up to make sure everything fits right, or when you're putting RTV. Uh, new guys, you put RTV here. The, uh, w w what would you call that? Water the, ports. the water ports are here and here on 302s, which are just on the four corners of the heads. And what those do as well is when you RTV it, these line it up and you can set the gasket down, it's not gonna fall. You're not gonna have to hurry. You're not gonna you know, hope that the RTV holds onto the gasket long enough and so on. Then when you RTV the top of the gasket on each four corners, uh, when you rest it down, it will again hold it into place and so on. Pause on that though. After you've RTV the head on the four corners, RTV the gasket and you have it held in with the four bolts as I mentioned, uh, you will lay, as you can see right here, you will lay a thick bead right along here. What do we do with those uh, cheap, nasty cork caskets? So, this is what comes with the kit. Kiddos, don't use these. <laughs> uh, they're meant to just like fit in there, and then the RTV holds them down. More often than not, I have heard people having issues with these being held in. So, just put a nice thick bead right along where the you know casting is of this block. Um, you can just kind of see the line right here. Put that on, uh, make it real thick. Same goes here. You guys can see this line of this port um, or this water jet of the intake manifold. And that's how you install it. Uh, easier, just sort of a trick for you guys. Most of you guys probably know this, but uh, for those of you that are watching. Um, my buddy here, so we have these torque specs, which you can find these online. Uh, and actually when I say torque specs as well, it looks like two stages of torquing. 
um, of different uh, foot pounds, but also what order to do it in. Um, you mentioned, and we're trying out this time, has never failed you in the past. 10 pounds, uh, you torque in the, in the whatever engine you're the working pattern, on, right. pattern, and you wait 40 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so we've got RTV, we've done everything like that, you're torquing it down, and you wait 40 minutes, and then you torque it to? You're, well, it, then you back it off, and you what back you're it doing off? is you're, you're pre-compressing the gasket. Okay. And then, then you go, after the 40, 45 minutes, then you go through your your process. Okay, your and that, process. obviously, pre-compressing pre the gaskets uh, eliminates... Eliminates future leaks. Future leaks. Okay, and it's never failed you. No. Uh, <laughs> this guy does really good work. He's putting something together. You guys might see more of this uh, guy later, so... But yeah, I'm gonna try that here. Um, you know, the old school way worked for me in the past, uh, but he's worked on other stuff. I've only worked on Windsor Motors so far in regards to this situation. So uh, maybe that's a little bonus for you guys. Comment down below what you guys think. Probably some of you guys already do that. And um, yeah, and pretty much all I got here. Let's see here, I installed these, or this right here, alternator. Found these at uh, these little chrome spacers, and there's a whole bunch of different sizes at Ace Hardware. Um, I mentioned all the rest in prior videos. Um, I can't remember what this one was. With this kit, which is off eBay, find that other video, I'll try to link it up in the top. And this alternator here, which is a Ford alternator, um, you know, you line it up right here to make sure it's fine. Uh, this one was, I believe, 40 or 42 inch, I believe is what the 42. one. 42. So somewhere in there it worked fine. I chose the smaller one, which is why I'm guessing 40, does it say? I don't know. But I think it's 40. It's made in Mexico, so 40. Um, and I did that because I didn't want my alternator to swing out as far. So there you go. You know, if you guys are working on Windsor's, you guys can find this online. I'll put it right here. But uh, 18 to 20 PSI. Um, I believe this one is for both aluminum and cast, but I believe I got this one because it was aluminum. In fact, it is aluminum because this is off Edelbrock. So, uh, torque specs for that. If you guys have cast, I believe it'd probably be higher, 25, 30, you think? Maybe, maybe 30. Maybe 30. And, uh, and then, of course, you do it in stages. So, there you go. Kind of boring for you guys, but if some of you guys don't know that, uh, you learned a little bit. So, all right. Well, on to the next thing here. See you guys.